Henry of Marcy and then of Clairvaux from 1177 until 1179. He was created Cardinal Bishop of Albano at the Third Lateran Council in 1179. Henry was an important figure in the fight against the late 12th century movements of Catharism and Waldensianism and took a leading part at Lateran. 3. He strongly supported the use of force to suppress heresy and a strong alliance between secular and ecclesiastic authority and the use of force. Henry was named after his birthplace of Castro Marciaco, or the Chateau de Marcy, near Cluny in Burgundy. He joined the Cistercian Order in 1155 or 1156, becoming a monk at Clairvaux before being sent as to become the first abbot of the daughter house of Hotcombe in the Savoy. His spiritual mentor was Bernard of Clairvaux. In September 1177, Raymond V of Toulouse made a request to the Cistercian General Chapter for a legatine mission to help him deal with the heresy of Catharism which was rampant in his domains. On September 13, 1177, the Cistercian General Chapter decided to send Henry to Languedoc at the head of a papal legation which included Peter of Pavia. Cardinal Priest of S. Chrysogano, Jean de Belsmains, Bishop of Poitiers, Pons d'Assac, Archbishop of Narbonne, and Gerard, Archbishop of Bourges. Roger of Howden may have accompanied him, as he is the source for the only account of the mission and he includes Henry's letter summarizing their accomplishments. On the other hand, he also relied heavily on the letters between Henry and Pietro di San Crisogano. In 1178, Henry excommunicated Roger II of Carcassonne for imprisoning William of Durn, the Bishop of Albi. This act severely diminished the reputation of Roger II and probably increased the animosity between Roger and Raymond Vi. On the other hand, some modern scholars have suggested that it may have pushed Roger into an alliance with Alfonso II of Aragon. Henry encountered Peter Waldo in 1180, extracting from him a profession of Orthodox Catholic faith. Henry returned to the Long Dock in 1181 and led a military attack on Roger's town of Lavor, which Roger's wife Adelaide immediately surrendered to him without giving a fight. Henry then went on to depose Pons Dasak from his see for being useless and reprehensible. The 1181 expedition received mention in Gopher de Viges and the Chronicon Clara Valensis besides Roger of Howden's Chronicon. Philippe Auguste receiving messengers from the Pope calling him to the Crusade. Towards the end of his life he was offered the papal crown, but he declined it in favor of Gregory VIII. Beginning in 1187 he preached the Third Crusade and was in Liege in March 1188. He did a great deal to mediate between the leaders of the crusade before his death at Arras, bringing Henry II of England and Philip II of France to reconcile. As well as healing the rift between the Emperor Frederick I and Philip I, Archbishop of Cologne. It was at the tag goddess held in Mainz in 1188 that he induced Frederick to join the crusade. He was buried at Arras and is considered beatified. The Cistercians celebrate his day on 14th of July. Among his surviving works, his letters and his De Peregrinant Civitate Dei are published in the Patrologia Latina. Thanks for watching.